Welcome guys, this is Home Harbor. I did told you that we're going to have a little bit more light. I tried to do this. I did order some better lamps, but I don't know where and when they will come. So we're going to work with what we have. I will try to show you everything as close as I can to focus it so you can see everything that I'm doing. So guys, this video is about the mast. We're going to do a main mast. Main mast is the bigger one. Uh, with this one when we will finish with this one the second one you will do with no problem by yourself so I'm going to film only one and then the second one it's going to be easy peasy for you no problem at all so what do we need for this we will start with the wood so it has six millimeters in diameter I already I will not cut you have one piece like this. I didn't cut anything. So this is the length that we need, right? I did mark it right here. So this is the length of our mast. This piece right here, we need for putting inside the screwdriver. I saw a lot of videos that guys put some tape around the wood or put some paper and it not damaging the wood. But by my example, I already tried this, it is damaging. So if we don't need this piece of wood, we can use it for screwing inside the screwdriver. And in this way, we can send it down our mast, damage this part that we don't need, then cut the mast uh, with the sizes that we need in our plan. So guys, the first thing that I want to do, we have here two pieces like this. I already paint them black. So what we need to do, all of this must have six in diameter, but in the end it have five. So we need to send probably, uh, not probably, from here, this part must be five millimeters in diameter and then we just go smoothly make it even so it will look nice so guys let's start in this part right here so our pieces will fit and when they will fit and then we will just go with the smoother uh, sandpaper and make it all even so guys what I will do how I will do this I will take these pieces away this one as well I will take sanding paper, it's 80, and put it around and starting to sand it down. What I must warn you, don't make a lot of pressure like this, because in this point you can break the wood. Okay, if we're going to break it once, we have one more try. But be careful with what you're doing, because we have only two pieces of this wood for two masts so don't try to don't try to damage it <laughs> don't damage it guys because we don't have another options we have just this wood so let's go you did it for for a few minutes few few seconds then you can check with your pieces if it does fit it doesn't fit let's do it again and guys try to not overdo this because the way i want to do that my pieces enters really tight but if you will go too much if you overdo this they will be just loose and you will need to glue them I don't want to glue them, so I will constantly uh, measure if they enter or no. So I will cut this part a little bit, but you understand how to do it. You are sending it down and after a few seconds you always need to check with your piece that enters here. So guys, I finished with it, it enters perfectly, 
very tight so I will not need to glue them so this part is done the next thing that I'm going to do already without the screwdriver uh, I will just take the sandpaper uh, 220 sorry my bad uh, 255 and then just go around all of the mast to sand it all down make it more or less even not more or less to make it even to make it nice and smooth and next our step is going to be cut it cut the length that we need then paint it and do the old effect how we did with our bowsprit for now I'm not gluing uh, no blocks uh, nothing those two parts metal parts also not so guys I have done this now it is smooth it is nice now what we do we cut the length that we need so guys this is the length that we need I just take my knife and go around it I marked it now we can just cut it my advice to you you can send it down a little bit right here when it's going to enter the mast uh, enter the ship so it will enters much more easily because uh, how I did my candelaria I also didn't glue them my masts aren't glued so I just sent it down a little bit now we can try if it fits in our ship So guys, it fit perfectly, awesome, we don't need sand it anymore, for now. Now I will clean this and we will prepare to painting. Guys, the pieces that you have like this, okay, this one is damaged, right? So we just cut it and we can throw it, throw it away. But piece like this it's always useful to have some pieces spare pieces in home so guys next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to paint it black I'm going to sand it down just like we did with our bowsprit so I think there is no point for me to filming this I will come back to you when I will paint it we'll send it down and we will continue with blocks and with all other parts that comes with the mast so guys I finished with this part I didn't stain it and I will explain you why uh, when you it's obvious when you put the water or when you put the stain the wood goes a little bit bigger in the volume that it was so it will be much difficult for us to put this ring it is wooden ring I am afraid to break it also this black parts right here in the top that we have also will be more difficult to put in the position they need to be so first we will do all those parts i will not glue for example this ring i will not glue it because it enters very very hard i don't need to glue this part and when you're doing this when you put in it be careful to don't split it it's gentle one we need to go right here very slowly we go in the position that she need to be a little bit higher and as you can see it did damage a little bit our wood not damage so I will give here 
a little bit more of sanding. This is again one of the, one of the reasons why I don't stain it immediately. Awesome guys, this part is in the position. Next thing that we can do, we can put the eyeball, right? So just a second, I will take my drill and we will put the eyeball. So guys, in this point, there is uh, no difference where you will do the hole because we didn't put those two parts in the top. So when you're going to do this, we need to line them up so they will be in the one line as well as those pieces right here, black one part that goes uh, on the both sides. So the first one, we just need to see how high she should be right here. So, okay, I'm doing right here the hole. Enough. Now I take my eyeball. I will draw a little bit more. Then cut just a bit my eyeball. Now we check. Enters. Awesome. Now what what we are going to do? Put a little bit of the glue. Guys, as usual, on the tip of the eyeball. I use toothpick because it's very comfortable. Just a little bit of the glue, and now let's glue it. Okay, now we give him a little bit of time to dry and in this point we can send just a little bit this part right here. So good guys, now second thing that we can glue are black parts for our ropes for the rigging. Uh, you can see that our plan is from the side and from the front. So this is the side this is the front so from these two sides we need to glue those two parts for the ring so let's do this awesome guys perfect so this part is done let it dry just a little bit and then we go up and we'll deal with this part right here. So guys, it is dry. Uh, I'm really happy with the result, with all of this black look. I already put one of uh, these eight parts, I don't know how you call them. Uh, they are very tight, so it's no problem at all if you send it right. If you over sand it, just put a little bit of the glue, it's not a problem. Now I will put the last one, line it up, good guys, awesome. This part is done and we are ready to put the blocks because we have one more piece of uh, the mast that go up but 
we need to put it after we will attach the blocks I think it will be much easier as you can see this part right here must be like this so before do these two parts we must put these three blocks all right so let's start so guys first thing first let's prepare the rope and blocks I always you know that I always take more rope that I need to be secure now as usual we making the loop simple knob put the block inside just a second you guys put block inside close it put just a little bit of glue here when we have our knob just a little bit a drop of it and let's close it up so the first one is ready to be attached now let's just give him time to dry just a bit as you can see I just give one simple knock but in our plans as again we have some a little bit extra rope right here I did show you in the bowsprit but I will show you again so you will see how I'm doing it I'm just I take it like this not much just like this I put the glue at this part right here I put the glue And now I'm just here I'm fixing with the fingers to so don't go too much and now I'm twisting the block I did twist it now I'm waiting a little bit when it's dry because super glue it's almost at the same time is dry I give one more knock but not closer to the end just one time like this so guys this one this block is already ready to be attached to the mast so I will do this now right now we're going to attach it to our mast and then the rest of them you will do it by yourself because I think this is really really simple I will just take a plan so we will be sure where it should be so guys let's do the first one in the top it goes just right beneath our uh, eight part so what I'm doing how I'm doing this again where we did our knock I put a little bit of the glue I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. for me it's uh, more of a my choice how I see it I put right here just a little bit of the glue now if they are like this so they must be in the opposite side I take those two pieces of the rope I put my block where it should be with that glue and then just a little bit push it to the other side to the opposite opposite side until the glue grab the wire you see like this good now what I'm doing this is what I was doing in the power spread and I hope you understand me I give here a little bit of the glue right so now this part is glued to the mast we have two ropes I told you that I don't like to see a knock from the other side so I'm going around it I will show you with no glue with no uh, with no gluing with no cutting nothing I'm just for example I'm taking this part right here I go to the other side 
and I glue it just right here. So you will not be able, you can even twist it two times if you want, but you don't need to do this. One time, it is more than enough. So guys, now I'm showing you how I do this. That's why I like very much toothpicks because you can put just a little bit of glue, a little drop of the glue. So we will put right here, just a drop of the glue. Now I'm twisting it around and right in this part, I'm just cutting. And now we are put it in this place right here. Good guys. Now from the other side we're going to do the same. I will just mark the length. We're going to do the same thing. Just a drop. Just a drop of glue and now we put the rope inside. For me it's a perfect way guys because you don't see really anything. You don't have a knock right here, you don't have nothing right here, just perfect. I will change for a second uh, the camera. And I will show you from the closer look because I want when I'm showing my videos I want that you will get it understand it completely before we go forward so just a second I will push camera a little bit lower and show you from closer look nice I think like this it is focusing enough so I'll explain you we twist it we give uh, one knock we didn't close it completely then we had two ropes that go uh, to the other side I put a little bit of the glue right here next to this knock right and then I just push it around it cut it and put it inside and in this way guys it is very clean you have no knocks, you have nothing, it's very clean and it looks very nice. So guys, I think you get the point how I'm doing the blocks, how I'm attaching the blocks. Because I don't think that we need to film every block that we have. So I will glue more two blocks right here and then I will come back to you. So guys, I have done it. I put the blocks. Uh, also, I did this part. It's easy for you. It's nothing to film. The small part, just a little bit sanding on the end. Put it inside. Uh, this part I glued because it uh, was not that tight. It didn't enter that tight. Uh, what I wanted to say you, when you're going to glue your blocks, pay attention what kind of blocks are you gluing. Because in the top, there is a single block single block then two double blocks every time check because if you will see in this plan you don't see what kind of blocks because they are turning like this right but if you see in another uh, plan you can see what kind of blocks are you using so pay attention of what are you doing so guys this part is done this mast is done later we're going to put it on our ship now what we going to do i will i will not do all of them because there is i think it's not necessary because the principle of doing this is the same everything is almost the same i show you how to put blocks i show you how to send it i show you how to tie the blocks now what we'll do for example we will do this part right here the smaller one then the rest you will do by yourself because it's really easy. I will show you an example how, to, how I'm doing it, how I put this, this part, how I attach it to the wood, and everything else I think it's quite simple 
So we're going to need wood, four millimeter in diameter, uh, this part and two blocks, one single, one double. As again, pay attention guys, what blocks are you tying to the mast or to the rigging. So let's start, I will just put everything that I will need for this and let's begin. So guys, let's continue. First thing, mark the length that we need. I marked the length that we need of the wood, then a little bit more so we can put in our screwdriver. So let's cut. It's not a lot of sanding, all of those parts. Let's go. Good guys, this is enough. Now let's finish it with the thinner one, thinner paper. Good, awesome. Now let's cut the axis of the wood that we will not need. Okay, as usual, don't throw away those pieces. Maybe in the future we will do some scratch build and pieces like this always be helpful. So now what we need to do, we need to attach this part to this one. How, how I'm doing this. I put it in the top so I can mark the length that enters uh, our wood, right? So it's going to be like this. Now, from one side, I do not very deep, but cut. Now I just cut this piece to make it straight not round just to make it straight right good guys now to make it even you can put with this part that you already cut you put it in your cutting service and then do the other cut and the same thing cut from this side guys don't go too much don't overdo this and always check with your spare part a little bit more if you can see we need to cut a little bit more let's cut more I do this for, for the first time, but actually it's pretty easy. Good guys, it enters, but if you can see, we have a lot of access of the wood from all the sides, right? So what I'm about to do, I'm going to glue this piece right now, put it in position. And now we can glue this part right here. Try to center it. Good. From all the sides. Good. Now let, let's take the axis of the, uh, of the glue. What mistake that I did? It's uh, I really didn't need to paint those parts before gluing them. And now I will explain you and show you why. Now let's give it to dry for a few seconds and we will continue. So guys, it's glued. Now if you can see all of this excess around that piece. I'm going to send it down. I use my sister-in-law nail file. I like it a lot, this tool. And now we just send it. And why I rushed with painting this part? Because 
I'm going to send it right now and obviously I'm going to take off in some parts I'm going to take off the paint so I will need start to do it again paint it again but we're going to paint it all black to do the old look like we did with the mast so there is obviously no problem with that so let's start so guys if you can see I take this axis now it's round nice what else we can do right here when it enters it's not really round we can send a little bit right here make it look more pleasable to look at and this is it guys we have our piece now I think I don't need to film you how you paint this part so I'm going to paint it black let it dry and then I will come back to you so we will do the sanding I will show you how to do the sanding of this old look but basically it's like not basically it's the same like we did with the mast so I'm going to paint it black and I will come back to you so guys I did paint it again so now let's just do the quick sanding as we usually do I hope you like this idea old look of black paint send it down with the walnut stain I almost said again oak I don't know probably oak stain like me very much so guys quick sanding try to send uh, this part in the middle with no again with no sanding the metal part just a little bit doesn't have to be much well like this is good and now the last thing that we will do is gluing tidying our blocks so we put our piece, we mark when, where we have the block, the first one next to the metal part is go double block. I already prepared them, I show you how to do this, no problem. We marked where we're going to glue the first one. You remember how I'm doing this? Just a drop of glue, put the block in the position, wait for a few seconds. Just a little bit of glue around. Everything like we usually usually do. I'm showing one more time. Maybe someone didn't pay attention when we was doing uh, the must, so there will be no question. Again, around. And it's good. Nice, guys. Just a little bit of glue, you know. Don't need a lot of glue. Because it will be not pretty. Now, I will do the, the last one. I don't think I should film it. I will glue this block right here. And I will come back to you. So guys, this part is done. Now, let's just give a little bit of weathering. The oak stain. 
you can go on your blogs you can go on your thread it's not a problem even those metal parts you can go through them nice so let's leave it to dry and then we will come back to put our musts because I really don't think that I should film all of the other parts because they are all the same there's only one thing that I would like to show you pay attention to the blocks to the eyeballs you have one front one side view pay attention to this all of the system is the same as we did with the mast as we did with this with this piece so you will have no problem I'm more than sure only one thing different in the end you must do one mil hole and then the other must she does it does look like this the one thing that I can say tell you say to you be careful with this part top part because it's going to be slimmer you need to do some sanding it's going to be more fragile so don't break it everything else we already did with the other mast so there is no point to film uh, now what we can do we can put our I will do this mast then I will come back to you and we will put our mast on the ship and see how does it look so guys our masts are ready as I told you it's very simple very easy there was nothing to be worried about I 100% sure that you did this without me with no problems so what we're going to do let's place our masts we have two two of them and let's see how does it look one thing that I want to say to you I'm not gluing them they will be a little bit forward to one side to another side we can fix it when we are going to do the rigging because the rigging is our next step look awesome really looks awesome now guys I did the rest of the parts all of them but uh, we are not going to tie them up right now and I'll explain you why because I want to tie them when we are going to do in the next episode full rigging when we will do the rigging we will put everything like we should straight nice then we're going to put those pieces I already checked there is no problem with the lantern so guys this was home harbor Roma the part of the mast it's ready and we are ready for the rigging so next episode is rigging of the ship thank you very much I'm very excited because we are almost in the end of our journey it's very interesting and next episode will be a lot of fun so thank you very much guys and see you next time